Hello everyone, my name is Joshua Winkins, and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be going over how to create a split screen effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Now as you can see right here, here is just the editing breakdown to the intro of the video. I created this split screen effect coupled with the 8mm film effect. So let me show you how I basically created that effect so you can create it for your own and of course put your own creative twist on it. So obviously the first step is you want to import your footage and then you want to cut it up. Now you could for example use this which I'm going to show you how to do how to kind of create this effect where you can have the, exa the exact same clip but duplicated or you could do it this way where you could have two different clips um, in the split screen effect. A lot of times people may do this to kind of pass the time instead of having two separate clips they combine both the clips into a split screen effect. So let me show you how to create this effect. So basically this, these are the exact same two clips. All you can do is just press command C. You could copy it and then command V paste it. That's how you could just duplicate a clip. So let's go ahead and drag the clip on top of that clip. As you can see absolutely nothing changes. So now here's where the fun begins. You can go ahead and press on the transform tool and now you can start moving the effect um, right over here um, Basically what you're doing You could also kind of just like zoom in the clip a little bit But basically what you're doing is let's go over here to the crop tool and now let's start cropping um, This out and at the end of the day what you're trying to basically do is you're trying to basically just continually keep messing with this um, So as you can see right here. Here is what the effect looks like. So we only show the computer um, so let's go ahead and just kind of recreate that effect. So what I just did was I just pressed on the crop tool and now let's go all the way. Um, and again, if that doesn't work, um, the crop tool doesn't work that way. You could also actually just go into the effects panel and then manually um, use this crop tool. So let's say, I don't know, let's say right here. Let's just do that for example. Um, I'm trying to kind of recreate the original one. Um, so the chair is kind of moved so let's go to the transform tool um, let's zoom it in a little bit somewhere along that line somewhere along the lines and there you go let's kind of put this over here and maybe and again like, like I said before you're basically just messing with this effect you're messing with this effect until you get your desired look so as you can see right there maybe we want to crop it a little bit more let's head over here and maybe we want to show a little bit more um, like right there and there you go you've kind of created this split screen effect now what I like to do is head over here do the 8 millimeter film effect and let's go ahead and apply it to the bottom clip and there you go you basically kind of already created this effect now a couple small things you could do um, regarding the 8 millimeter film effect is you can go over here you might want to turn the jitter down a little bit. I think like three or four, something like that. The only reason you may want to do that is because the clip might start shaking a lot. Um, you can turn down the film burn opacity so the entire clip doesn't turn like orange, which I guess if that's the look you're going for, then go ahead and go for it. Um, so let's wait for the whole thing to render. Um, and then there we go. Let's go ahead and show off the clip. So this is what the, the clip we just edited. As you can see, it's jittering a little bit. Um, so we might want to, as you, maybe you could saw kind of like shaked, uh, shook a little bit. You can bring that down a little bit more. Again, at the end of the day, it's your desired look. It's shaking a little bit, but there you go. That's basically how you create this split screen effect right there. So basically all you gotta do is just take the, basically it's like Photoshop basically. We are constantly stacking up tons of layers and then basically what you're doing is you're using these tools. You're using the crop tool and the transform tool to mess around with positions and to crop out um, what you don't want. And at the end of the day, you just keep messing with it until you get your desired look. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm giving away a Google Home Mini once I reach 1,000 subscribers. New Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials every single day. See you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you.